All right, let's see if we can find all real solutions to this really long, impressive looking uh, fourth degree polynomial. Well, the first thing I would do is find all possible rational solutions. So how would I do that? Well, I would just list all the possible rational solutions we could have. If there's a rational solution, its numerator will be plus or minus uh, any factor of this number, which is 6, by the rational root theorem, divided by plus or minus any, uh, any factor of 4. So what are the possibilities? Well, we've got plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, and plus or minus 6, divided by all the possible factors of here, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 4. So I've got to take a look at all possible fractions we can make. And so what do we see here? We see this yields the following. Well, first of all, if I use the 1 down here, I just get plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, plus or minus 6. If I put a 2, I'm going to see now halves. So plus or minus a half. Uh, 2 over 2 is 1. I already have that. I got plus or minus 3 halves, so I've got a new thing. And then 6 divided by 2 is 3. I've already got that, so that's nothing new. What about 4? Plus or minus a fourth. A lot of things to check. Um, 2 over 4 is a half. We already have got that possibility. We've got 3 fourths. That's a new one. Plus or minus 3 fourths. And finally, um, 6 fourths is the same thing as 3 halves, which we already have got. So we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 possible rational roots. And so the 16 possible rational roots, we have to check all of them. We can look at using a graphing calculator and see which ones actually come close. And if you use a graphing calculator, we see that 3 and there it looks like 0.25, negative 0.25, which is kind of close to negative a quarter, seem to be close. We can use synthetic division or long division to see if it goes into this uh, polynomial evenly. In, in both cases, it does. And so when we actually do um, the synthetic division or long division, what we get is the following factorization. x minus 3, 4x plus 1. And we're left with x squared plus 2x minus 2, all equals 0. Well, now we're almost home free. We just have to now solve this quadratic, which we use the quadratic formula. So for this piece right here, for the little green piece, what do we see? We see x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a which equals negative 2 plus or minus the square root of, and this is going to be 12, which is 4 times 2, all over 2, which equals, when we simplify, negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 2. So we see that there are actually, uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This is actually a, a 3 here. There we go. This is 12, so the square root of 12. And so we see the answer is x equals 3, x equals negative 1 fourth, and two irrational answers. x equals negative 1 plus square root of 3, x equals negative 1 minus square root of 3. And so using the rational root theorem, we were actually able to find the rational roots by looking at a graphing calculator and actually seeing that, in fact, these are the candidates out of all those 16 some odd rational possibilities. And then we can actually use either synthetic division, if you like, or you can use long division of polynomials to see that these indeed go into this evenly. This is a root if and only if x minus 3 is a factor. This is a root if and only if 4x plus 1 is a factor. And when we long divide those out, we're left with a quadratic. We can use the quadratic formula to find out when that equals 0. We got two irrational solutions, negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 3. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 solutions to this fourth degree polynomial. A lot of hard work, a lot of work. In fact, this is only an outline. But you see the steps in order to put these ideas together to find solutions. Bottom line, solving polynomials of high degree is really hard. There's no way getting around it. And when you wake up to the stratospheres of mathematics, it's still hard. Congratulations on this triumph, and I'll see you soon.